the type of question that you hope you will never have to answer in real life. If you truly love someone uh, deeply, then you'd, you'd go a long way and probably do things that you never thought you were capable of. I don't know if I'd go over the, you know, so far over the hills of damnation that the Lord himself couldn't find me with a telescope. Not really. In a practical sense, I mean, if save them if their life was at risk, I'd put my own life at risk to save them. My body is a lethal weapon. Um, and so at any time I am ready to, to kill. The idea of heavy rain came from very different directions and I wanted to create an experience that would be based on emotion. Emotion is the basis of communication. The whole of storytelling is really about how people feel about one another. I am an amateur psychologist. I spend my time trying to create people who should be psychologically sound. Whatever I read touches me. If it doesn't touch me, I say no. I think the films that I enjoyed making the most and that, that came out the best, I think, had me fairly involved emotionally. We'll probably find out a lot about the truth of what people feel about love. I was really changed by the birth of my kids. As a father, I wanted to create something relating this strange relationship between a father and his son. I did a whole story in Sierra Leone about childbirth. It was just plain and simple for all to see that this individual had some kind of love for this new being that was indescribable. I'm not really interested in killing very much. I, I feel like th that's all covered by a lot of other people. Love is, is much more interesting to me. I'm more interested in stretching the parameters of love. What might be considered love? Who might fall in love with each other? Why is this wrong? to love this person and not someone else. I think most drama or, you know, any, most art is, is, is connected to love. It's what David Lean used to say, if you want to make a good film, find a woman, find a new woman, and fall in love with her, and then you'll make a good film. Love is sort of the underlying theme, I guess, of what I do. I mean, that's not just movie making, that's acting. Um, I've always loved to be other people because I was an only child. Love is centered on approaching each day, each hour. Uh, it's a study and um, of life. I think my best films are all about love. Falling in love with love is falling for make-believe. I try to believe that that's not true. I do believe in it. I do believe in love. I think it's the, the sort of single greatest strongest of human power in the universe. I wanted to explore how an interactive experience could trigger different types of emotions that the ones you usually find in video games. Usually the main emotions are adrenaline, frustration, competition, anger. I've never been big on hate, you know, I think it's something that scares me more than love. Uh, especially if you're driving in Los Angeles. You know, you hate that person, I hate it when you, when you go past me on the right, I hate it when you turn right on red. Uh, when the arrow says not to. So in terms of how much I say it, I probably throw hate out there more so than, than love, but I probably feel more love than I do hate. I find it very difficult to hate something. Anger can help your work, yeah, I think um, anger is one of the things that is very difficult to control. I mean, people don't let anger out a lot generally, um, so you have to um, be very clear about what they're feeling and, and then um, really try and capture that raw emotion of it. Yeah. The correct expression of anger is a good thing. It's a great thing to get out. I've been in situations where I felt very angry and that has inspired me and encouraged me. When I don't know what's going on, I get afraid and that's when I get violent. The writing of Heavy Rain took me about a year, so I spent a year with, this, with these characters. The bliss of being able to explore something, truly, really explore it, but in a, in a, in a, in a, in a safe and artificial environment. It's like a deck of cards, really. Each of the cards that we could lay out in front of us, we could do in any number of ways. I know it'll be different when it happens, when the people, the artists, the actors arrive, something about them changes. You know, the fiction leads you to some kind of truth. I mean, that's the nature of art, isn't it? That you eventually arrive at some sort of conclusion. Well, you write out of love. You write out of love for the world and out of love for what you do. But in the storytelling itself, you, you explore, as I said already, the, the extremes of feeling, which are, you know, jealousy, hatred, 
fury, sibling rivalry. I guess your job as an artist is to try and capture something about the the madness and strangeness of living in the world as a human being. Having a child abduction was something that was really difficult to deal with because it can easily become something unpleasant, something you don't want to play with. This is a very serious matter. So um, having to deal with that was something very difficult, very challenging, and we needed to find ways to do it with um, a lot of subtlety and really trying to trigger the emotions we were looking for. Would I kill someone to save somebody else? Um, it's never a situation I've been put into yet, but I, um, I guess I would, but it would be a very uh, difficult thing to do, and who knows what the consequences of, of, of that would be. I think there's no choice, yeah, you would kill immediately. You get caught up in the emotions. You can't. You can never say what you'd really do when you when you really push the limit. I suppose. Yes, I hope so. I mean, I'm quite cowardly, but. Uh... Well, if that happened to my daughter, you know, then I'd probably be spending money for somebody in prison. So please don't kill him, but you know, make sure you him every day. Whisper my name in his ear when you do it. I'm not sure. I. There's enough darkness in me that I, I probably wouldn't want to test it. Yeah, it has occurred to me. Well, self-defense, I mean, no, for, no one knows whether they're capable of killing somebody until they're faced with it. So it's, um, you know, so it's bound to be um, conjecture. But yeah. I hope that if I had to answer this question at some point, uh, I would be courageous enough to answer I would do anything. And um, yeah, for my sons, I think I would do definitely anything. Mm -hmm.